So I thought I'd make another video of some of the 3D rigs <clears throat> I've been using with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black, the Dual Hero GoPro system. So it's still just unbeatable. I mean, with the GoPro Hero 5 coming out, I figured maybe they'll do something with uh, syncing 3D, but they've kind of given up on all that stuff. So the 3 Plus Black is still a really good camera. As far as 3D cameras go, if you're shooting at a fixed focal length, it's very good. Uh, I have another video that goes over some of the details of how this whole rig is set up, but I've used a lot of these rigs, which are really simple. You can get these for like 15 bucks on eBay, and it's just 3D printed uh, kind of setup, and I always need a level because the GoPro has no no uh, monitor in its standard form, and I always glue in some quarter 20 mounts so I can do different mounting. These things are great, lightweight, hold the cameras very stable, and you don't have to mess with them at all. You can go out and 3D shoot, it's terrific. But the problem with that is mainly that when you have the GoPros, you'd have no way to hold a lens cap on there. So the there's these aluminum uh, cages that you can buy that are about 15 bucks. It's amazing, they're all aluminum that you can get on uh, on eBay as well. And it's great because the GoPro ha it has a threaded uh, adapter on it, so you can, you know, you can have normal lens caps on there, which is my biggest problem because the GoPro lens is so exposed. You need a cap for it. So with the uh, with this rig, it really is so much easier to deal with now that I have a conventional cap, and also you can stick these just collapsible rubber hoods on the thing and get a, a decent hood out of the uh, shooting as well, which is something that's very difficult to do. But uh, as usual, like in my last video, you can see how modular the setup I've got is. Of course, I've got two of these aluminum mounts. These are just the normal holes, so uh, normal hoods. But uh, I've also got, because they have uh, just a quarter 20 built into their own little cage, I've kind of crammed a level on there, which is kind of convenient. But uh, you can continue to break it down. So, I mean, this rig, it's the dual hero system. So GoPro sells basically the all the guts to do this with their the orange thing on the back here is the dual hero system. And I've stuck a display on the back of it. So I can see what these cameras are doing, even with the 3D back on there. And there's a lot of options on how to do that. And I have another video that shows more about that. But the big advantage of this evolution of this thing is that these aluminum cages make it just really easy to align the cameras. But when you look at the cages that they sell, they have this lump on one side that's aluminum that sticks out <clears throat> on one end. And I guess that's just to uh, have this screw thing to hold the camera in place. But I had to flip them around to put them close together and also just hacksaw those that little lump off the end of it. And with that off, I have an extremely solid metal bracket for these 3D cameras. And when you screw it in, I have an Arca Swiss rail and some other stuff that I've got in my other videos as well. You really end up with an extremely well-placed rig that doesn't move at all. I mean, my, the big problem with 3D is you cannot have these cameras move. So if you go shooting all day, you really want to have the same post-processing alignment and tweaking that you're doing so you don't ever have to do it again. So uh, this setup works amazingly well for that. And uh, this is, you know, I can continue to break this down so you can take a look at it. But uh, let me just shut these guys off. And the display has its own battery that I kind of crammed onto here. Let me cover up the lenses here, which is the nicest thing about GoPro because I've always had I've had the little push on type of things that you have with GoPro but they and you end up ripping the bezel off the entire camera and it's a big nightmare but this is all just common Arca Swiss rail quarter 20 everything so I just have a normal solid aluminum arm holder this thing is just another Arca Swiss rail going the other direction and that holds all the the camera system in there the the display system and that plugs into the back of the Dual Hero system. They have a USB here. The f interesting thing is you can plug this into any of the USB ports on either camera. And usually I also have a microphone that's connected and you can connect the camera to any of the USB ports on here as well. So when the 3D system is running, you can have two microphones 
one connected to this USB, one to that USB, and the video can come be connected here and it all works. It's an amazing setup. I'm a little bit amazed that this wasn't more popular, but on top of doing 3D, which you can do with this, you can shoot one narrow, one tight, whatever. I've also replaced these lenses. They're uh, aftermarket, so their focal length is now about 30 millimeters equivalent. So they're not fisheye lenses because I just want to do more conventional 3D stuff. But uh, in this stripped down form, it's very easy to pocket this thing in a jacket pocket and, uh, you know, without the back, big back display. But it's hard to tell what the hell you're shooting at it because you have no way to see anything. But uh, the, I have just Allen wrench screws holding this in and I've kind of found washers and bearings that I've had lying around that give me the perfect uh, offset so that these cameras are a level with each other. But it's an amazing setup. I mean, I have a lot of 3D videos on uh, that I posted on uh, the same account. And this this rig now is I kind of can't really improve on it. I mean, I've done tons of shooting and I've had I have other 3D cameras that I use for other things like the Sony Dev 30 and the TD series. I've had just about all of those and Fuji and everybody's camera. I've taken a crack at it. This thing is just better quality by far. I mean, there's a huge, huge difference in quality when you're using this. Most of those other cameras are interlaced or doing some kind of weird side-by-side -side format and you're losing half your resolution with every other format there is out there. This thing, since you can use ProTune and each individual camera shoots a normal piece of video that you have to edit and merge later, it's you could just get much higher quality. And because I replaced the lens, I'm able to use the full sensor. I'm not doing a narrow version on this thing. And it's not hard at all. I mean, replacing the lenses, you just pry the bezel off and then unscrew the lens from the from the inside of the camera so very easy it's hard with the prior any camera prior to the 3 plus black uh, but the 3 plus black is very easy to replace the lens the lens is about 80 bucks uh, you can get those on eBay and there's several people that make a, I think it's a 5.4 millimeter something like that lens uh, but amazing I mean this setup is I've been looking around for a while to I mean I knew about these aluminum housings for a long time but with that lump there I knew it wouldn't work because it's the modification I've done to this thing, the the wire used to come out here. It's very easy to switch it over to here. Then you can get a wider spacing. If you're interested in narrow spacing, I mean, I have another GoPro rig that is the narrow spacing. And it's just basically the same deal with the cameras flipped. And I use the, the stock um, wiring setup from GoPro for that one. This is the wider version. So, uh, you know, sometimes you want to do super wide 3D. I've, I can use the conventional GoPro camera. Uh, sometimes I want to do a you know a 30 millimeter aspect ratio to, to to do that type of shooting, but extremely solid. I mean the the big challenge with the 3D system is getting the lenses wider apart, and this solves that problem. And uh, having a way to mount them, especially outside of that water housing, because the water housing it adds another layer of glass between the lens and what you're shooting, which is always something you want to get rid of. I mean ideally I want to have the naked glass between me and what I'm shooting all the time and having a being able to put a conventional cap is great because I can carry it easier and then the hoods that you can stick on there you can finally get a, a solid kind of a hood mount and this thing is extremely durable but a lot of fun and the best 3D if you're looking for a fixed focal length you know and you do have some options because GoPro does let you change the width of the sensor that you're shooting you could shoot wide medium narrow and when I have, since I have another pair of GoPros that are using the uh, conventional back, I can, and you know, different lens, I basically pick which rig I want based on what kind of focal length I want to shoot. But generally I go with this one, which is, it's wide spacing and uh, has the lenses uh, about, it's about a 30 millimeter equivalent, which is, seems to be ideal for doing a lot of the 3D stuff. But uh, this is kind of the heavy version. Uh, I, I usually use something like this if I need to go much lighter. And it still gives you the same type of thing, but you, you lose the ability to have some nice covers on the lens. But it's fun. I mean, it really works exceptionally well. I mean, if you're debating it, it's easier than ever now with GoPro Hero 3 Plus Blacks getting much cheaper. I mean, the best way to do it is probably to buy the refurbished ones that GoPro sells themselves. They, I got them for... I think 175 or something like that. They're they're starting to get really cheap because it's a continuously older system. But it, for as far as 3D goes, better than anything you can buy. I mean, I have the Sony Dev 30, and 
other very expensive commercial 3D systems, they're no, not even close. This is at least double the resolution you can get. I mean, you can get progressive 60 frames per second. Nobody can do that with full resolution on each each lens. So it's an awesome setup. Uh, still hoping that something commercial comes out that can compete with this because it'd be nice to not have to do all this myself, but it's still very good. But uh, take care. I hope you can... Uh, find some ideas that are useful for your own rigs.